And we're back to learning CapCut. Let me show you how you can create rolling credits. There are actually a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to show you two and they should cover almost everything. Use the default layout, go to text, add text, default, click on a plus sign. And we have this default text element. To be able to add an animation, we can just drag it downwards. This little guideline will help you finding the center. And then find the position right here on the basic. And there you can click on this diamond icon, which is going to start an animation. Afterwards, drag the text upwards and you can see a new keyframe is being created. If I play this now, it moves from bottom to top. So this is exactly what we want. If you want to adjust the speed, you can make this element shorter. But if you do it like this, you have to readjust the keyframe. So once again, I drag it upwards and now I have a new keyframe. It's way faster. But you can also just drag this element like this and then reposition the keyframe. Left click drag to adjust the speed so now it's way slower. And now it will be faster. So this is how to handle the basic animation. Now let us add some extra information here. So instead of the fall text I select it and I copy paste a couple of names. Say for producer, screenwriter and the usual stuff. You may have to size it down. And now you can see it's a little bit too big so I have to reposition this at the two keyframe positions. But now we're good here. So this is a typical rolling credits animation. But we run into a problem when we select this and we want to add more names. There's actually a character limit in CapCut, at least in the version that I'm using here. So how can we add more information? Well, we can simply chain a couple of default text elements like this. So paste your first half or doesn't matter how many names you've got, you can chain multiple of these default text elements. Let me paste this again into the second element. I have used a font size of 7 for each. And now I have to yet again add keyframes for the position. So at the beginning it's below. And I go to position, click on the diamond icon, I go to the end and I drag it upwards. If you can't find it for dragging, just go to position, let me find it right here. And then change this value numerically. And here it is again, so I could drag it or just type in zero, it's in center and then you can drag it upwards. So our second animation is fine. I roll it, here's the first one, and then the second starts. And if you want to have it, for example, at an earlier position, place it on top of the first clip like so. So this will be one way to deal with that. Another way is to simply use an image. You can, for example, use GIMP. It's a free software to do that. I've used a 600 x 600 canvas black background and then I've pasted these names, use the type tool, left click on a the canvas then control V to paste. You have to size it down a little bit, control A to select it all and then let me make it like 28, 27, put it in center. Afterwards you'll have to export this, I've already done that doesn't really matter if it's a PNG or a JPEG. In this case we have a black background. Afterwards import this file into CapCut. I've just called it credits.png. And now you can click on the plus sign to put it in the timeline. And now instead of adding the animation to the text element, we'll just add it to this image element. But it's the same game. I'll drag it downwards. I'll find position, create a keyframe. Go to the end, 
I'll drag it upwards. A new keyframe has been created on this rows. And here again, if you have multiple of these, you can chain them. So if you have more than one image, I'll just copy paste this one, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then you paste it on top. Maybe I'll put it a little bit earlier up to here. But now you can see we have these two elements scrolling by. And this is how you can create these rolling credits in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.